I made a promise, Mum. I made a promise to someone who I care about very much. Then you've got nothing to worry about. Because you always keep your promises. The debates about the end of the series raged endlessly <laughs> from, from when we first started developing series two right through to the moment we pressed the button and said, right, that's the final picture lock on episode eight. Even as we went into the final stages of script development and as we went into the shoot, we weren't entirely sure what would actually be the final sequence. And I know this led to the crew believing that we were shooting potentially two different endings, three different endings. You know, what we, what we wanted to do was to... To, to find a way that, the, that we could show a satisfying conclusion to Sam's journey. Uh, we felt we owed it to the audience to show them what had happened to him, why he was there. Uh, to see him wake up was, was we felt, really important. Um, you know, although we had had debates about leaving it open-ended, leaving, you know, leaving it on a, on a question. But I think we all felt it was... You know, it was it was important for us because we knew in our heads all along what we thought had happened to Sam. It was really important for us to, you know, to be able to, to explore that and, and show that in the series. Some people would like to have left the series on the jump and perhaps not seen any more. But to other people, it was really important to see the coming together of Sam and Annie, um, which is obviously a very important moment for the series. It maybe was two endings and they didn't tell us. But I don't know. I, I thought I just thought that the roof scene blended into the coming back and saving our hero saved the day. Mm. That's all we. That's all I ever thought was going to happen. Anyway, I, I, I didn't know they had any intention of stopping it at the roof. The, the process didn't stop at all through the series. You know, we we we. But there were some things that obviously most of it came through at, at script stage, but there were things we were adding, you know, right up to the end of the process, even in post production. You know, some of the elements that you know we that were that came through in the in the sound post were equally as valid as you know. There's those ideas coming through at that stage were equally valid. Um, some of the things we'd come up with, you know, months months before that. And I do think the fact that S J ensured that she left kind of black after the jump off the roof it kind of leads the audience to think, is this the end of Sam's journey? And then we go, obviously go back to 1973. I, I love the false ending I do. That, you just think, that's it, yeah. that's it. And he's gone off the roof. Mm. And it's almost like you're expecting the credits just to appear in the bottom and then... Yeah, that's really... Yeah, as he jumps off the roof yeah. and it just goes into blackness, you think, that's it. All of a sudden his face just comes out of the shadow. And you, it's not it. It's good, isn't it? That's great. <laughs> I think the payoff was really important and, you know, to see Gene and get the light relief of that and to see him and Annie finally get it together, I think that's quite satisfying for the audience. And the fact that everybody gets their moments and the fact that we see that Phyllis is intuitive and she's known all along and she gives him the little nudge he needs and that, you know, Chris has kind of forgiven Sam and he still wants to be a good copper and the fact that Sam says he'll be a good copper makes Chris lift his chest and shoulders and, and it's sort of, it does tie it up really nicely and everybody gets their moments. That's like two coxes pippins in a bag. She sounds enigmatic. No. She was from Barnsley. People want to, have wanted to know from day one what happens between Sam and Annie. I kind of like... I like the kiss as well. About time they got it on. Should have got the tongue in, though. Yeah. I hope they are satisfied, because I, I, I really love satisfying endings. I don't like ambiguous endings. Um, I like emotional closure. I'm a bit of a sort of traditionalist. But, uh, and I really wanted that to feel satisfying, that ending. As long as people feel that, then I'm happy. Yeah, and audiences have been very good to us on Life on Mars, mm. but very um, faithful, and, and they've put forward their own ideas and theories. It's been a, um, an incredible journey, and we really, really didn't want to disappoint them. But we also had to be true to the vision that we set out to tell all, all those years ago. So, um, well, I really hope people like it. Mm. I think what um, we have achieved is we have brought a, a definite ending to the story of Life on Mars, and I think we can all be proud of that. Um, I think that we have 
got the balance right in terms of answering questions, but also leaving some questions up in the air that me that the audience can take an ownership of the series as well. And there are still some unanswered questions, but we have a satisfaction of knowing what is going on in Sam's mind and what um, is important in Sam's imagination. And as a as a pair, the two series will, you know, they're really strong and they should they should you know be around for a long time you know obviously if there's a, a winning formula and we have like you know which life on mars is a winning formula i don't think it's really cool i think it's really cool to leave it at two really cool you know how cool is that a lot of people don't and it's not because they didn't want it it's just because it's a really cool thing to do i think you know they want more it's great leave them wanting more you should leave them wanting more Ending on the test card girl, we, we felt was just a little nod to hopefully um, the fact that, you know, it's, it's not an ordinary series. And just when you think you kind of know what's, what's going on, um, something else will hopefully surprise you and, and make you smile. And that's, that's hopefully what we, what we did with the end of the series. I am the law yes. in your dreams. 